Hello. Uh, today, I just wanted to say, you know, happy Friday the 13th. Um, I'm sure many of you who watch this channel or have seen some stuff of mine know I like Friday the 13th. And uh, I'm sure many of you who also like the, that franchise will have a marathon of sorts today. I've been kind of having one sort of ever since like last week. And then even into this week, like late last week, I thought of watching some of these movies. So I began to. And then I'm like, hey, Friday the 13th is next week. So I'll just be watching uh, some of those throughout the week when I did. But uh, I didn't exactly plan to make a video about this. I've already made some various videos. I've also done a pretty much overview of my thoughts on the franchise as a whole. Um... Though, as I was watching uh, part two, around 29 minutes, 30 minutes, for whatever reason, uh, on my Blu ray, it skipped from like Ginny walking out of the cabin to go, or not to the cabin, like to get to her cabin to, from where everyone else is. Like they. No, whatever you call it, where everybody congregates and hangs out at before going into the separate cabins. Anyway, you know, when she's leaving there, everybody's going to go, like, to go to bed, get ready. Um, for some reason, uh, it skipped from that until when she's there and is putting a robe on, and then it goes on for a while, which I was like, okay, well, that was weird, and I rewound it back, and same thing happened again, and, um, so I'm like, okay, well, does this happen anywhere else? And I was watching it, and, and at some point when you see a sh like a shadow of somebody outside, it cuts, and then goes back to where, uh, Ginny is, I think I've been saying her name right, but, yeah, Ginny, uh, and, and Paul's there, and they're talking and kissing, and then, see, the person, oh, it was Ralph, crazy Ralph, and then what happens to Ralph, you know, happens, but anyway, for whatever reason, it skipped, and that, I have to say, this, that has never happened with this set before, ever, I don't know what happened, I also have a PlayStation. I have a PlayStation Four and Three, uh, and I put the movie in my PS3 because I had my four. Was watching it on my four at the time, and uh, same thing happened. So I'm like, I'm gonna clean this. Uh, so I cleaned it, cleaned the disc, and, um, and there's another Blu-ray in my house, so Blu-ray player. So I pop that in. It seemed to begin to skip as well. I'm like, okay, is this going to have the same problem? I just rewound it and played, and it played fine for whatever reason. It didn't ha skip at all. I'm like, oh, well, maybe I fixed it. So I bring it back to my PS3 and 4, and same thing. Uh, for whatever reason, my part 2 in this collection is a... Uh, at least at this moment in time, is kind of just at, at around the 29, 30 minute mark. For some reason, it's not going to, it skips. I don't know why, there really isn't any, there really aren't any scratches. Like, I mean, discs may get scratches, like, you know, normal sort of, I guess, kind of, Wear and tear, I guess you might say. It might be normal that discs, Blu-ray discs, or uh, DVDs get scratches. Though with Blu-rays, it's a lot harder to get scratches because they're very scratch resistant. So there's like a, a little thinly, little weakly kind of thing. Like, hmm, I didn't notice that before. And I did this. I cleaned it, made sure that all was fine, and. For my PlayStation, 
for my PlayStations, it won't work. But for the other Blu-ray player, it will. Is this a thing with PlayStation? I don't know. I know PlayStation doesn't always, or at least in the past, they didn't always play certain movies. For whatever reason, they had a problem with some films, or some Blu-ray movies. Don't ask me why, don't ask me what. Maybe there's something from the latest update, because I did watch these after our last update, like last week. And maybe something happened where I was trying to read the disc, the dead on the disc, for whatever reason, it causes the PlayStations to skip. For whatever reason. I'm not saying that's the reason. I'm not an expert at that kind of thing, that it, all technological stuff. That's all speculation. I think it's fairly obvious from what I'm saying. Um, so that's unfortunate, but I like to have a marathon of the films with that set, because it has all the movies. Because what I have for Friday the 13th individually are parts one, parts two, Part 3 and the reboot. Now, this version actually works, so I guess I can just watch part 2 here. And uh, they do have parts 4 through 8 on Blu ray and Freddy vs. Jason. For whatever reason, New Line doesn't have uh, parts uh, 9 and 10. Though Warner Brothers at the moment actually uh, releases these films now. Like they're the, I guess, the distributors for the home video market, it seems. And I guess you could argue, well, it's the lawsuit, lawsuit I've, that I've talked about with Friday the 13th. I'm not going to get into it here. I've already done so. I've read articles and I've given my take and also from what I've heard of. Larry Cerner, who was in part three, played Shelley, and who's a lawyer who knew all this. And I even left a link to an interview with him. Basically, I've already talked enough about that. I'm not going to get into that here. Uh, but one could think, well, the reason why those two have never been properly released on Blu-ray individually was because lawsuit and this and that. And okay, fair enough. Though also with this set, uh, people did complain that part 9 was not rated, which I have to say I do agree with. I mean, part 9 is not my favorite of the series, but it's a lot better to watch when you watch the unrated version, the director's cut, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's like, why bother if you're not even going to give us the option at least to choose the unrated. And many people were upset with that. So, you know. But with all this in mind with this somewhat the skipping nature of this film, and it's not like it skips throughout the entire movie. It's just for whatever reason around 29, 20, or 29, 30, 31 seconds then these three seconds, for some reason, or three minutes, not three seconds, three minutes, for whatever reason, it skips. I don't know why. Maybe I shouldn't think too much into it, because it could just get worse. If I don't find a way to fix it. And if you guys, anybody watching knows what could be the problem, or how I could possibly fix this problem, without hunting down another version with an exact same Blu-ray disc, because I like to have that kind of, obviously not, not scratched or really dirty or something that's unplayable, but because the cover art is very specific, and so I think it's kind of bland, and I can understand but uh, that, but I want to talk about bland and not on a not that great cover art. Yeah, look at that. That's real great. It's just a, it's just gray, but it's Friday the Thirteenth on it. That's nice. But 
I have all of them. And also for me, I'm like, you know, I would have thought if any movie of the series was ever going to like, from that collection was ever going to like, have any kind of problems, uh, uh, it would be the movie that I watched the most of the series, which, and that would be part four. Part four for me is the best. <clears throat> I know some thinks part six is the best. That's fine, but I know others think it's part four. Others think it's part six. Some might think it's part two. Anyway, we all have our own various uh, favorites in the film series. Uh, though I, like probably all of you watching, like the franchise as a whole. Now, with this kind of problem I had, I got to thinking, you know, while I would like to, wouldn't have a problem, also, as I said, buying them all individually, was, I tried to make that point, I went on to some other thing. I wouldn't actually mind uh, uh, buying all the movies individually, um, but, uh, again, parts. 9 and 10 aren't on Blu-ray on their own, so it's like, um, my set will then be incomplete in that regard. I mean, yes, it is complete right now because of this, but if I wanted to buy them all individually, that way it's not complete. Um, and I just don't. I don't know if it would all be that worth it, personally. Um, maybe it would, but... Uh, I was looking through some of my uh, Blu-rays, and um, I was you know, again thinking about this, and then it dawned on me that a certain movie company, or not movie company, uh, like home video distributor, distribution, Whatever that is, you know, there's a company that releases a bunch of old movies, old TV shows, um, and when it comes to us horror movies, they call it a different name. Uh, that is, uh, of course, I think many of you, if you may you know who are horror fans, you know, heard of Shout Factory as well as their uh, horror line, or company, or what they go by when they're releasing horror movies, uh, Scream Factory. And I have a couple of uh, examples here. Uh, the Town That Dreaded Sundown, which was released by them, and uh, The Serpent and the Rainbow, which for some reason doesn't have a barcode. Never really noticed that until now. That's weird. But anyway, basically these releases um, are really good. They take a lot of care of the movies. They make them look really good. Really great looks, look and sound great. Um, they put a bunch of special features, so if you're into that, you know, pretty covered. Though with this, it's not a huge special features department, but it does offer on a on the DVD it has uh, another movie. Um, so that's always fun. That's always good. And there you go. Also, here you go. Yeah, baghead. There you go. Guy yeah, with a bag on his head. Well, this was based on inspired by a true story, and um. Friday the 13th 2, Jason has a bag on his head. Um, I also have the, uh, like, seven hour documentary or five hour or whatever documentary of, uh, Friday the 13th. You know, I didn't bring that over because, I don't know, my focus is mostly on the movies. But also, then there's Serpent and the Rainbow, which is a Wes Craven movie. You know, did Nightmare on Elm Street and Scream. And there's a lot of 
stuff, the commentary, making of it, and uh, new interviews. What and what Screen Factory and Shout Factory do is they try and get licensed films and TV shows. Uh, the show WKRP in Cincinnati. If any of you have seen that, you know, for so many years it could never really be properly released on DVD, mainly because. In the show, it's a well, it's a radio station, and they have music. The licensing rights to get all the music for seasons one through four were very expensive, and so when they first released it, it didn't you know very it wasn't very good because the music they then chose and the replacement of certain songs just sucked. It didn't really fit the scene, it didn't fit the show, it just didn't fit. They made up stuff, and it was not good. <clears throat> and they also do the same with films and movies. Now, the reason I mentioned Shout Screen Factory outside of being able to pro probably properly release all of these again is because uh, they released Halloween, the Halloween series. They released all of them on Blu-ray. And uh, even got the producer's cut uh, for the very first time on Blu-ray, legally, instead of just bootlegged. And, uh, yeah, they gave those movies a proper uh, like a restoration, and proper look and sound, and a bunch of special features. Now, I think with Friday the 13th, uh, something similar could happen, too. Though, again, with the lawsuit, I don't know. In a way, it doesn't seem like there's anything exactly preventing the release or re-release of some Blu-rays and or DVDs to continue being made or released. It seems what's being on hold is new Friday the 13th movies. But we have 12 movies here. Again, I said I could I could see myself possibly even buying the entire series on their own on Blu-ray, not just in this set. And I would, but since 9 and 10 aren't on Blu-ray, I'm not sure if it'd be all that worth it. Who knows? Um... Also, I've heard that part, or I've seen part 9 was released on Blu-ray, as well as part 10 on their own, and as a double pack, but it's really rare now, because it's really, it was like a limited time, I guess, or it was released, but maybe they didn't sell real well. Also, with part 9, they didn't even have the unrated cut, still. Like, I don't know why with Blu-ray, all of a sudden, like, obviously there's 4K Blu-ray now, but... Before then, you know, Blu-ray was like, that's the best you could get in terms of home video. Best picture and sound. Yet, for some reason, for Friday the 13th, well, well with Part 9, we're going to just give you the, uh, 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 the R-rated version. The version people don't really enjoy with that movie. That makes sense. But I think with Screen Factory, since they did Halloween, maybe if their next kind of big horror uh, sort of thing if they ever did another one because they continue to release horror movies every year but I think if they did release <clears throat> uh, Friday the 13th in a similar fashion in a set like uh, Halloween I think a lot of people would jump on that you know they properly take care of uh, the material they're dealing with, the films, the TV shows. Um, I the only reason I gave WKRP, I didn't really finish that example. I went into other things, but with WKRP, they were able to get most of the uh, music to the series of the episodes of which they're shown in. So they're able to license like uh, 70, 75 percent of the music, I believe. So it's like that's quite something when 
a distributor like Fox with a bunch of money, they decided, no, yeah, we're not going to do that. We're kind of going the cheap route. It's like, that. there you go. It was a beloved show, so it makes sense to just be cheap. Um, but yeah, with Screen Factory, I think Friday the 13th could get a good proper release. And hopefully no more of the skipping stuff. Because, uh, yeah, that's annoying. That annoyed me. Uh, like two minutes or so, three minutes, that guy, like, gets skipped. And I'm like, granted, nothing really exciting was going on. Nothing really, well, suspenseful was happening around that time frame when it skipped for part two, but still, it's, it's still annoying. And, um, if anybody, you know, uh, has any suggestions of what I can do or what I should do, uh, let me know. Um, but yeah, I think Friday the 13th could be a good addition to the Screen Factory library. I like Shout Factory, I like Screen Factory. Um, a lot of people do too. Uh, they're, I think in many ways they're also like the Criterion Collection, which takes care of um, various films. I have some movies here. That's the Criterion Collection. As well as this. But yeah, I think uh, now these companies, they care about uh, the films and in Stream Factory and Shout Factory's case also. TV shows, because Criterion Mesa pretty much just does movies only. They don't do TV. But, yeah, they care about the products they're making. They care about the fans of such products and or their company. Some people just like comp their, their company, and maybe they'll see something of interest. Like, oh, wow, they're releasing this movie? I've never heard of this or never saw this or I never really thought much of it, but it looks cool. Maybe people will buy stuff from them that they didn't think before. They didn't really gave much thought to, or maybe they didn't necessarily like such a movie, but because of how much care they put into their releases, and the special features and such, all that, sometimes it might get people really interested in just and buy such a movie or set. And if they released a set of Friday the 13th films, uh, I and others would love Screen Factory even more. Um, but yeah, that's really all I wanted to say. Um, happy Friday the 13th. I've um, had some problems, uh, at least with my PS PlayStations. It could be a PlayStation thing. I know stuff has in the past happened regarding movies. I've heard stories, I've read about them, and like, in boards and stuff, or forums, and uh, yeah, so maybe the recent updates did something and screwed up, and as a result, both PlayStations just don't play that specific part for some reason. I don't know. I'm not going to try and pretend to know, um, but yeah. Uh, so, do you agree that Friday the 13th could be a really good on, uh, would be a good on uh, Scream Factory? Uh, if you're able to get licensing for the home video releases, or, um, or no, do you think, uh, this is fine, or maybe they do need to just be re-released individually again. All of them properly, especially 9 and 10, and 9 should have the unrated. Or maybe all of the above. Maybe you kind of agree with me on the consensus of Friday the 13th. 
release them all there, but also release them on Screen Factory. In fact, I'd prefer the latter, but if they did that, but if not, I don't know. If they released 9 and 10, I could be tempted to buy the rest to complete all these individually. Because uh, perhaps, because it's all in the hands of a judge right now. This whole license, this whole lawsuit, and uh, and I don't know. Maybe this whole thing, if people bought their movies, if a new s releases were made, I don't know, more proper or or improved or something. If maybe some people weren't all that weren't really loving uh, releases for these or some reason. I have no problem with it, but you never know. There could be that one person that didn't like them. I don't know. If Screen Factory released them, or Warner Brothers, Paramount, New Line, or whoever would be in charge of that was re-released all of these on Blu-ray individually. I don't know. Maybe that could be a sign, like, hmm, maybe we should put aside our differences and just come together to try and make a new movie. I don't know. Um, I'm kind of rambling at this point. Um, I think I should probably stop. And, uh, and yeah, that's really all I've got to say. Um, what do you guys, what do you think? Did I make a point? Did I not make a point? Did I just blather on? So that's possible. I hope my point was made. You know, I have a question and also thought it would be interesting if Screen Factory released this franchise on Blu ray and DVD. Because people do like DVD. I don't mind DVD. Um, but yeah. So, uh, hope you all have a good day. Uh, happy Friday the 13th. Have a good weekend. I'll see you all next time. Till then, just keep on having a good old day and a good weekend.